This video explains how to add standard error bars to a bar chart in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, whereby the first column contains random numeric values, and the second column is a group indicator. Now, if we want to draw these data in a bar plot with error bars, we first need to aggregate our data, as you can see in lines six to eight of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the aggregate function and within this function, I'm specifying that I want to calculate the mean and the standard error for each of our bars. So if you run lines six to eight of the code, a new data set called data summary is appearing. Then in the next line, in line nine of the code, we also need to modify this data set. And then after running this line of code, we can print the new data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data set which contains a group column, a mean column, and a standard error column. And you can also see that this data set contains only four rows, one row for each of the bars. In the next step, we can draw a bar plot using the bar plot function as you can see in lines 12 to 14 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new bar plot has been drawn. And in addition to that, we have also stored some information on this bar plot in a new data object that I have called base R bar plot. In the next step, we can use the arrows function to add error bars to our bar plot. And within the arrows function, we need to specify this data object that we have created before. And then we also need to specify the angles and the length of our error bars. So if you run lines 15 to 20 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And now our plot is showing an error bar for each of the bars in our bar plot. So in this first example, I have explained how to use base R to create a bar plot with error bars. However, it's also possible to use the ggplot2 package for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the next example of this tutorial. And for this, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 22 and 23 of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 23 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot, coort flip, and stat summary. And within the stat summary function, we are specifying the bars. And we are also specifying in another call of the stat summary function that we also want to add error bars. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that another plot is created. And this plot once again shows our four different bars. It also shows a legend on the right side of the plot, which identifies the different bars. And it shows an error bar for each of the bars in our bar plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.